he could go all the way. The sun on the horizon I hear the engine of the F-16 Man, I can't contain the excitement When I see the colors of my team Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Let's kick off! Let's kick off! It's time for some football Come on, come on Let's kick off, let's kick off Time to see who can walk the walk And not just talk the talk I Let me hear you yell, it's the NFL Let's kick off No better place in this world Than the moment we're in right now The huddle breaks, the whistle's blowing And the crowd stands up as the clock ticks down Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Let's kick off! Let's kick off! It's time for some football Come on, come on, come on, yeah Let's kick off, let's kick off Time to see who can walk the walk And not just talk the talk Let me hear you yell It's the NFL Let's kick off We had to uh, work too hard to do that, <laughs> did you? No, with the help of Cassie, um, in a little scripting there, it, I don't know who looked worse. You're right. But anyway. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, the bottom line was we had a lot of fun. I think everybody's had a good laugh at, on, at our expense, by the way. But, but that's part of it as that's well. That's typical Sunday lunch. <laughs> yeah. And you know, while we had a lot of fun doing that, and the whole idea was to give men an opportunity to come together in a special way to worship the Lord. I think that while we've had a lot of fun doing that, the most important thing is the next two things that we're going to be sharing. Yeah. I know that I'm going to have yeah. the opportunity to share with uh, those who are viewing this video God's game plan for life and how they can have eternal life through Jesus Christ. Yeah. And you're going to be doing that. And I'm going to be talking about some upcoming exciting discipleship courses that's going to help them as we have power to win in this game of life. So we're excited to unveil those. So actually, we're going to take two steps. Yeah. The step of faith in receiving Jesus Christ, and then the walk yeah. that God's going to take us on as, as we yeah. journey with Him. It's going to be good. All right, man. It's good. Every coach has a game plan for their team. God has a game plan for our life as well. The Bible shows us several things about us. 
First of all, it says that there is a great chasm between us and God. So here's God on this side and man standing over here. And there is a great distance between man and God. And so for man to get to God, God tells us in Romans 6.23 the way that that is possible. First of all, it says that men are over here holding a wage that they have earned. We all know what a wage is. A wage is something that we earn or that we deserve. For instance, if I was to work a job and I was told that I'd make $10 an hour, I did that job and at the end of three hours I went to get paid. If they tried to give me just $10, I would insist that I got the full $30 that they had promised me because I deserved the wage that had been promised. The Bible says we've all earned a wage for our sin. Sin can be categorized in two different ways. Sin is either doing what God told us not to do or not doing what God told us to do. And because all of us had done one or both of those things, we have earned this wage. The wage that we've earned, the Bible says, is death. Death in the Bible, especially in this passage here, is an idea that says that we are separated. Thus, the great chasm that separates us from God. What separated us from God was the sin that has now separated us from the Father. And while that's devastating news, the Bible does have one little word, but a great big meaning. It says, but. And right there between where we are in this situation and where God is, there is a way that we can find hope. And that way is by receiving the gift that God has to give us. The Bible tells us that we, over here, have a gift available to us, quite different than a wage, because a gift is not something that we've earned or that we deserve, but something that somebody gives us freely because they love us. And this gift, I don't know what the most expensive gift you've ever been given, but this gift is so expensive that it costs God His Son's life. And so this gift is the gift of God. It is a pure gift. It is an undefiled gift. It's quite different than sin. It is the purity of God. How do we get that gift? What is that gift? Well, the Bible says that gift of God is eternal life. So we have eternal life over here through what? Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Well, how do I get from here to there? Well, quite simply, the Bible says you have to go through Jesus Christ. And while I may try to work my way to God, or I may try to attempt to do good things in order to find God's favor, I will always fall short. But through Jesus Christ, He becomes our bridge. And I can move from where I am to where God is if I go through Jesus Christ. How do I go through Jesus Christ? Well, simply by making Him the Lord of our life. What does it mean for Jesus to be Lord of our life? It means that we have come to the place where we have acknowledged our sin. And we've said that we deserve separation. But we're calling on the gift of God that He Himself has offered to us for eternal life. And we do that through prayer. We ask, Dear God, forgive me of my sin. Come into my life. Be the leader of my life. And I will follow you to the best of my abilities all the days that I live. That's what it means to make Jesus Christ Lord. Once we make that step of faith and give our life over to the control of Jesus Christ, we begin the journey of faith and we start along the path of God's plan for eternity. Hi, my name is Andy and I'm the discipleship minister here at South Main Baptist Church. And I think we would agree that a critical time for any athlete is the off-season conditioning. This becomes a time for strengthening and study to help that athlete play the next season with greater victory. The same is true with us as believers. We too must condition ourselves for spiritual growth in the game of life if we want the power to win. In October and November of this past year, we began an online research project asking you, the members, what were those things, what were those contributions that allowed you to discover and find big faith? We took those findings and layered them into six contributing factors or ingredients. And because you spoke, we heard, and we're excited to offer you an opportunity for spiritual growth and conditioning. On Sunday, March the 17th through Sunday, March the 26th, from 6 to 7 p.m., we will offer six exciting discipleship courses that supports the findings 
from that input. You'll be able to choose from courses like The Gospel Project, helping you to understand redemption, the cross, and the Old Testament stories. Fight, how to recognize the deceptions and learn to do spiritual battle and warfare. Why do you believe that? A conversation of how to express your faith beliefs. How about this one? Seven realities of experiencing God. An abbreviated study designed to help you discover and know the reality and the presence of God and how to know Him personally. And marriage and money, doing it God's way. This study will improve your marriage and finances because you'll be learning what God says about having a great marriage and handling money wisely together. Watch your mailbox for information coming. This will help you to pray and plan for which courses you'll want to attend. Together, we can impact the kingdom of God as we journey together in this discipleship. Hey Andy, I know that we've had a great time putting this video together the last couple of years. Yeah. And I'm really excited about the presentations that we were able to add this year to our video telling about how someone can have eternal life. And then the next next steps. Yeah, it. absolutely. Next steps. Steps that's going to help them grow in the faith. That's right. And that journey of faith, it's not something that you just start and then it's over. It's something that starts and then lasts right. for all eternity, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're glad to have an opportunity to share that, that story of faith with you. And we both would like to invite you, if you don't have a church home, to come join us at South Main Street Baptist Church so that together we can take the journey of faith and see where God might lead us. Hey Andy, you know what we have the opportunity to do right What's now? What's happening? We can bring our newbie in and we can Brandon? Say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell him we need to go through some things for the video. Yeah. Okay, let's just see how far we can get. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, Brandon. Brandon, come here. What's up? What? Hey, man. What's going on? What's up? Listen, hey. we're shooting this video for this Sunday. Uh -huh. And uh, Andy and I have already done our parts. And we're trying to make sure that everybody knows our whole staff and stuff. Uh -huh. So we need you to help us. There's there's some key parts, and I, I know it's not going to make sense to you just shooting it all at once, but, uh -huh. but there's some things that we need you to do, and then and then they'll be edited back in, okay? Okay. All right, so we're going to just kind of break away. If you would, get on all fours right here and, and kind of oh. look at that wall right there. All oh, what? Oh. Get on all fours, kind of all hands fours. and knees. Yeah, fours. like a dog. Oh, like yeah. a dog. Yeah, like a dog. Okay. I need to, we're going to, you're going to be, it's, it's uh, who let the dogs out, and so uh, I say who let the dogs out, and you and you bark, okay? Okay. Okay, you understand? Kind of, Just, yeah. just do it, it'll okay, be okay, fine, okay. It, it, when the video, it'll all work. Okay. Alright, alright, all right. you ready? Yeah. Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? Okay, try it again. Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? Okay, now give me more dog. I, I need, I need to see. I need how many? To, oh, come God. on, man. Okay, who let the dogs out? Woo, woo, woo. Is, is jumping kind of helpful? Is that when I can't do it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like roll, roll over and scratch. Maybe that. Roll over and scratch roll like over. your dog. Yeah, just scratch roll. where? I don't. Well, <laughs> don't I'm not going to tell you that. Just, yeah, just roll over and scratch. That, that, that That's is, good. That's that good. Is. I'm trying to do the hind leg thing. All right. Yeah. All right. Hey, you know what? We're just jacking with you. <laughs> Man, you guys are crazy. <laughs> Good morning, baby. You're the... Love you, Love you. That was wrong. I love you guys anyway. We had it in the last two years. Yeah.